So we are given a quadratic sequence. Eh? 6, X, 26, 45, and Y. Eh? They say determine the first four terms in terms of X and Y. So we are going to determine the first, uh, they say determine the first four first difference in terms of X and Y. So how would you get the first four first different in terms of X and Y? Uh, you will say term two minus term one. So if we say term two minus term one, I prefer when I would say let's use different colors. So we'll say this one, subtract this one. So we have X minus open bracket six. Okay. okay. Next one we have, it's 26 minus open bracket minus X. Okay. And then after that, we have this one, okay? which is going to be 45 no? minus open bracket minus 26. Let's use a different color. Let's, let's put another one here. This one, subtract this one, what do we get? It's, uh, it's Y minus, Y minus 45. No? Okay, what is this then? This is, it's us getting the first difference. Okay? So now we need to simplify the first difference. What do we get as the red one? The red one is going to be. Okay, this is x minus six. Okay, what is the blue one? It's 26 minus x. Okay, okay what is the green one? It's minus, minus 19. Oh, it's 19. Let's check it. So we have 45, okay? Minus open bracket 26. And it gives us 19 again. Okay? okay, what is the yellow one then? It's y minus 45. Okay, this is the first difference. Then they will give us the mark. Again, they say we should determine the first four terms of the first difference again. Okay? And then let's check the marks, which how many marks was that? It's two marks. Eh? So we are going to have two marks for this one. Okay, we got the two marks. Second question says, calculate the values of x and what and and y. Remember, what kind of a pattern is this one? It's a quadratic. If it's a quadratic, it means which we need to go, we need to get a second difference. Okay. Let's get the second difference. We'll get the second difference by subtracting this one and this one. Okay. So if we subtract this one, what are we going to have? We're going to have 26 again. Okay? Minus x minus open bracket. X minus 6. Okay, we'll use that one for red. Okay. And then let's take another color. So we'll have this one, subtract this one. For that one, subtract this one, what are we going to have? 19 minus open bracket, 26 minus X, okay? And then let's get to the last one. If we say this one, subtract this one, what are we going to get? It's Y minus 45, okay? Minus open bracket, 19. Okay, so let's simplify the rate then. If we simplify the rate now, what are we going to get? Okay, let me erase this first, okay? So if we multiply this, okay, let, let's simplify it first. So you say we should have 26 minus X. Okay? It's negative multiplied by positive. What do you get here? Minus X. Okay? Negative and positive, negative and negative. So it's plus six. Okay, okay let's simplify this one a little bit further. What are you going to have? We have 19. Okay? Negative, it's minus 26 okay? plus X. Okay, for the yellow one, what are we going to have? It's Y. Minus 45, eh? minus 19. Okay, let's simplify them then one by one. I get this one, this one, and this one, they are like terms. Eh? And then this one, and this one, they are like terms. What are you going to get for this one? It's minus 2x. Okay? And then this one, and this one, we're going to get what? 32. 32. Okay, this one, and this one, like terms also. No? And then what are you going to get? It's 7, minus 7. Eh? And then it's plus what? plus x. And then last but not least, if we simplify the yellow one, what do we get? Y minus, minus 64. Okay, what is this? This whole thing here, we can call it with, this is going to be our, what, our second difference. Now what we have as our second difference, we have the red color, we have the blue color, and then we also have what, the yellow. Right? So these are the three colors that we have, okay? Now we can start by equating any two, just equate any two. So we can equate red and blue. Okay? Now, if we equate, equate red and blue, let's check what are we going to have. 
if you equate red and blue, what are you going to have? You're going to have minus 2x, okay? Plus 32, ne? Okay, this is going to be equal to what, Dina? Minus 7 plus x. Okay, guys, if you look here, we don't have two variables. Unlike the previous question, the previous question, I agree, we had x and y, yeah, ne? But here now we have x and then we also have x, okay? We can say x and x are like terms, okay? So if we take this x to this other side, what are we going to get? Okay, we get minus 3x, okay? And then we take 32 to this other side. What are we going to have? It's minus 39. Okay, let's divide by minus 3, okay? Divide by minus 3. What do we get then? X should be equal to 13, okay? Okay, now we've equated red and blue, okay? What else can we equate? We can equate red and yellow, okay? Or we can equate blue and white and, and yellow. Okay, let's go with blue and yellow. If we go with blue and yellow, we're going to have minus 7 plus x, okay? And then this is going to be equal to what? It's y minus 64. But we already know what is x, okay? We can come and tell them, I right, now we know this. We are going to have minus 7 plus, instead of x, what are we going to put there? 13. And then this is going to be equal to y minus 64. You are looking for y again. Okay, if you say this one and then you take it to this other side, what are you going to get? You have minus 7 plus 13 again, plus 64, which is going to be equal to y. You are going to get y as what? As, as 7. Okay, we can then say, therefore, our y is going to be equal to what? To 7. Yeah, my allocation, they said how many marks? Let's go and check. Five. It's fun. Yeah, so we're going to give you one mark for the second difference, Hudson. One mark for the second difference. One mark for equating this one. One mark for getting 13. And then one mark for getting 7. All in all, you get your four marks.